What's poppin' people? How to go in here? Bring you a tutorial on the vertigo or dolly zoom effect. Super cool effect. It was in the sickle mode video. Really easy to do inside of After Effects. Also easy to do inside Premiere. Today we're in After Effects. So hope you enjoy. Peace. All right, so we're in After Effects. I've already imported my clip. I'm going to click and drag to open it in a new composition. I just want this composition to be short around two seconds. So I'm going to go to around two seconds in, press N on my keyboard for end to end the work area there. Right click on the work area and click trim comp to work area. Now my composition is just two seconds, but you can see the time codes are still fucked up. They're like nine minutes. So I'm going to go composition, composition settings and change that to zero. So what I'm going to do now is hit Control Alt T for time remapping and set the first frame to when the movement starts and the last frame to when it ends. <clears throat> so now simply we have a composition where it goes from the beginning to the end of the movement. So I'm now going to hit S for scale and hold Shift and click P for position and set keyframes here at the end. Go to the start and zoom in and move it to where it is at the end. So now you can see you got the movement going and it's as simple as that. Now this whole composition we can drag into another composition, add some music, add it to any other clip, do time remapping to this from beginning to end. So what I'd like to do is go half a second in, go to the very end, one second in, go back to the start, and then delete that keyframe. I'll make it long, and I'll go <clears throat> hold Alt and click the stopwatch, and use the expression loop out to repeat these keyframes. So then they'll just keep looping over and over again. And it's like a boomerang. And what you can also do is click F9 with these keyframes selected and click on the graph editor and do some things here so that the speed at the start is quicker and it slows down more in the middle and that gives an interesting looking effect as well that's all it's a similar process in Premiere you can also add keyframes for scale and position However, using time remapping is not possible in Premiere. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you did and you want to see more like this, hit subscribe, uh, hit the like button. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace.